The catechists are the primary agents of evangelization. It is the catechists all the time who teaches the people, who prepares children for, for sacraments, who even prepare uh, young adults, couples for marriage, and then who even conduct services on Sunday. That is why they need to acquire uh, the basic Catholic faith doctrine. Uh, this is the center that was established for training of uh, catechists. Up to the year 2007, uh, it stopped due to lack of funds. Currently, the building which is not frequently used. Uh, some parts have been destroyed by the red ants, and uh, the ceiling has been eaten up by the ants. Before there was an old building here for the residence of the priest, and then it became cracking, and then the dust thought that it is good to have a new building. And that old building was demolished. And then they started the building, and then just there in the middle, the building is stuck. As the materials begin, the, the price begin increasing, now the money that they have cannot start. The dust is by itself cannot afford. Our Christian here to get the source of money then to, in order to help the church, it is a bit hard for the community. Because of the civil war, many people left south and went to Khartoum. Finally, the church is once again beginning very strongly in preparing young people to become priests in this country. For the people in South Sudan, the presence of the seminary, and especially this new project of the construction of theology section, is a great encouragement and consolation for them. There are a good number of young people who are aspiring to become priests. And with this new project, I think we can uh, have uh, many priests, and surely once we have many priests, we can be able to contribute also for the, the evangelization of other people who may be in need of our priestly service. We're looking for a way forward how to renovate this building so that we can have a good access for life and then can help us also to, to go for pastoral work. It has taken me a long time to find anybody who really is interested in the pastoral ministry, uh, who can be able to help the church, to help us carry out some of our pastoral program. And so I thank you for what you give to aid the church in it. Whatever you give, be sure that this support is useful uh, for the suffering church here in my diocese and elsewhere in South Sudan, 